What's up guys, Intellitech Studios here. Apologies for the background noise. The air conditioner is in the window, which means that you can hear stuff from the outside and someone's mowing across the lawn. So, this is the Bissell... Okay, I thought I already took care of those wheels, but I guess I didn't take care of the main wheels. I thought, it, I thought that squeaking was coming from the hydrogen wheels, but they're coming from the main wheels. Okay, well... That's that. So, this is the Bissell Powertrack Revolution. Don't you just love that squeaking? So, yeah, had this machine for a couple years, and it's definitely one that has not gotten used in a long time. So, we're going to vacuum the living room with it and see how well it does. Now, I just, of course, did the review on the Bissell Power Groom, and the reason why that's relevant is because someone did just buy it, so... All that bubble wrap, I gotta ship it out today. But this power track, you can see it has the same filter as the power groom, it's just oriented differently. And this is a much older machine with the same sort of upper tank filter as the original Bissell Clean View. But the main difference with this machine is the fact that it has the Revolution cups. I don't know what you'd call these, but these little slots in the side of the dirt container which the idea is these have little guards and the idea is that dust is supposed to get flown into these chambers so that way they don't have the chance to cycle back up and get into this filter and then clog it so that's the idea now i've found using this in the past that it's rather effective but i haven't tried it on my new carpet and this machine's a little bit dirty but you know, it's not the end of the world. So, we can see that's pretty good. There's a couple little bits of... I literally have not used this since I vacuumed up those peanuts. If you remember, at my, at my dad's house, whenever I got that new rug, which is still sitting in my old room, I need to grab that and take it over here. First time I ever vacuumed it was with this machine. And I have not used it since. So, and that was... I think that was like two years ago. So, yeah. We've got a mostly empty cup, a couple of those little little bits in there, but that shouldn't hurt much. And just a basic post motor filter, no HEPA, but I will put one in there at some point, since it's obviously supposed to have a HEPA. Now, I've been debating on whether or not I'm going to keep this, but I'm not quite sure. If I do sell it, I'm going to sell all my other power forces first. Because I'm selling my Power Force bagless, I'm selling my Clean View 2 because the filter setup on those is really bad. That's also why I'm selling the Power Groom. But if this has a better filter setup, if, if these side pieces are able to actually keep this filter from getting nasty, then, then I'll hold on to it. But if it can't and this thing gets soiled immediately, then it's going to get sold. So we'll see how this does. I've got on the medium setting, and this one's really hard to push for some reason compared to even my Power Glide Platinum, which has basically the same design, only it's bagged. So, not sure what that's all about. But, we'll go ahead and give this a run. Now, this one, the motor is a little funky in it. Uh, so, be warned. It's, it's not bad, but it's not good either.
sounds not so pleasant on the ears. But I could hear it picking up stuff. So um, I did vacuum yesterday with the Dyson Ball Animal 2. And yeah. Let's look at this filter. Okay. Well, already better in the power groom. I'll tell you that much because the power groom, from vacuuming the same amount of carpet, this filter was completely full of junk. So, already better than the power groom. At least in theory. Let's check on that upper tank filter. Well, first let's pull this out. Let's see. See, this is why I like this, because it's got, you know, there's very little fine dust in the actual bin, because, look at that, the fine dust ended up in the little side channel, channels, both of them, so, this thing actually did do its job, and so, you can see all that fine dust got ejected into these side panels, and as a result, there's not much fine dust in the actual main portion of the bin. Now let's check on that filter, because this is going to be the real test. Of course, the bottom of the tray is going to be dirty. Okay. So it looks like some more of, some more of these little bits just kind of stuck to it. I don't know. That looks like it's a little bit dustier than before. Yeah. We can see that it's, uh, you can see the imprints of the, of the shroud in there. We do have some, there's actually not too much dust on the bottom of that. So, wipe that on the carpet and that's good. So it's, yeah, I can confirm that this much older machine filters better than the Power Groom Multicyclonic. Uh, both of the Power Grooms, in fact. Both the, or I should say all three of the bagless Power Grooms. So all the blue ones. So does this does better than Multicyclonic. It does better than the Power Groom bagless that you can still buy at Big Lots. And it does better than the Helix Rewind version of that that you were able to buy a few years ago. So we can see there's, there's some dust. There's some, some stuff kind of stuck up in here. So, not great, but not, you know, the bar has been set so low from the other ones that this is a pretty solid improvement. I'm sure I'd enjoy using this more if it actually had a decent motor in it that didn't sound horrible. What I'm thinking about doing is, because I do still have that 3522-1 that nobody seems to want, so I'll probably just swap the motor from that, because I know that's a really good motor. Put that in here, because I don't feel like taking apart the motor and placing the bearings and all that. I don't feel like doing that. So I'll probably just replace the motors and put that better power force motor in here. And so that way this one's in better shape. And then that other one, since it, since it already has like some weird issues with it, I'll probably just donate it. Uh, just give it to somebody, somebody I know who needs a vacuum. The problem is that everyone I try to give a vacuum to, they're like, I don't want a bag. I want a bagless, and I'm like, I'm giving you a literal free vacuum. They're like, I don't care, I want it to be bagless. Okay, so, I'm not sure what I'll end up doing with it, probably just holding on to it, or, I don't know. Either way, a, bu a bunch of Bissels are getting sold, so, if you want one, go to my Marketplace page. Uh, I'll link one of those two Bissels that I mentioned, either the Clean B2 or the Power Force. I'll link the, I'll link the Clean V2 in the description uh, in case you want something similar to this. And of course, if I end up actually selling this, then I'll link this in the description of the review. But I'm not sure if I'm going to sell it. I might keep it because I have the Power Glide Platinum, which is basically just the bag version of this. Only that that version has a better, longer extension wand. And better filtration. So yeah, that's that. And of course, this is the 6591 model. So that's that. This is from 2008. So this is this is two years newer than my Power Glide Platinum because my Power Glide Platinum is like the last variant they made from 2010. 
But yeah. So, you can see my very fancy pants. So yeah, there's that. And also, for those interested, I did pick up two new Xbox 360s. A Halo 3 Special Edition, which um, is very special for another reason, which you will find on Intellitech Mobile very soon. And I also got an Xbox 360 Opus. So if you want to see the rarest 360 motherboard variant in a video, then go subscribe to Intellitech Mobile, as that those will be featured on there very soon. So, that's pretty much it. This is Intellitech Studios signing out with my Bissell Power Track Revolution. And that is pretty much that. I'll see you guys in the next video, and I hope you all have a good one. Peace.